Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We need to talk about Transient. We're going to talk about this because there is a big mission, a big scope that this particular organization is trying to achieve. And I've been doing some digging. I've been doing some research on them and I like what I see. And when I like what I see, and I can see that a real world problem can be solved, I come and bring it to you guys. So I'm excited. And especially the fact that it hasn't launched yet, that excites me even more. Now the smart contracts global marketplace, an ecosystem that gives non coders the ability to create their own next gen contracts in the digital world. Now, let's say you and I wanted to build some smart contracts. Now, I don't know about you, but where does a person begin to make a smart contract? It's not exactly an off the shelf, go pick it up at the counter, go pay it and, and away you go. Now, what if it was? That is the big question mark. That is the big thing that this organization is looking to fix. So it is about giving non-coders the ability to create their own next-gen contracts in the digital world, increasing the blockchain adoption across every sphere of industry and life. That's a very, very big mission statement. Like that, that is huge about what they're about what they're trying to achieve, right? Now, the up and coming things that are going to be happening, right? So there's a listing that which is going to be happening on pancake swap. It is uh, due to happen. Um, I believe from what I've been reading uh, by the end of this month, uh, maybe say even first weeks of December, you know, that, you know, launches can be delayed. But one of the key things that I want you to do, and I'll show you later on is to keep up to date on the, on the socials for this particular project, because it's going to be really, really important because that's where they'll, they'll mention all the, all the important dates. But, Let's dive a little bit deeper into the why, because for me, this is the part that has stood out amongst, you know, lots of other things that are out there at the moment, but this has really stood out to me, right? So imagine the Amazon of smart contracts, where a global marketplace that caters to all freelancers, SMBs and enterprises solving problems across the globe and accessible to all. A code free smart contracts. So an intuitive platform breaks down the barriers of mass adoption, allowing anyone to be part of the action with no dev tools required. Now this kind of stuff can really, really take off in a very, very, very big way. Interoperability. So the core to be built or agnostically to allow to extend the network across chains and partners at pace, increasing the reach dramatically. So to have cross chain as well as part of it. And then from a seamless integration point of view, real world ready and next level smart contracts with zero touch data driven workflows, delivering seamless creation, deployment and execution. I don't know about you, but even the most non tech person would get pretty excited about the idea of what these guys are trying to achieve. And I think there has to be a solution like this out there in the world, right? You can't, you know, you know, look at uh, what happened in the world of graphic design, right? Back in the day, you you needed to go to a graphic designer to get the most simplest of things done, and it would take ages, and they would charge you, you know, a bucket load of money, and they would make it seem harder than it actually is, just because obviously they could. And then along came Canva, so imagine Transient being the Canva of the smart contracts deployment world. That's the kind of picture that I want you guys to paint because this is what we're talking about here. We're talking about making something that appears in 2021 really, really complex and you need a whole development team out there to the point where you click a few buttons and before you know it, you got smart contracts being deployed out there with no dev, no dev tools. This is what we're talking about. So if I can give you the analogy of Canva, and what Canva has done in the world of graphics, and by the way, Canva is awesome. Use it, right? This is what we're talking about here. Now, this is, we're talking big bucks. Like, we're talking about, you know, if this scope is reached, then we're talking about a huge opportunity here with this particular, um, this particular organization. 
Now, the global marketplace uh, housing individual dApps delivering value for specific use cases and demographic caters to all, right? From freelancers to enterprises. Smart contracts are going to cover every single niche in the world. There's not going to be a single niche, a single business, a single individual in the world as we move forward, right? 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025, there's not gonna be a single niche that is not going to be touched by blockchain, which means it's not going, there's not gonna be a single niche which isn't going to be touched by smart contracts. So why not make a tool that can have them deployed at the click of a button? That's what we're talking about here. Now, when we talk about the mainnet, right? So the mainnet uh, um, launched on October and the flagship product and the first uh, prominent of the transit network, focusing on the standard smart contract creation and management. TSC Core will add value to the community on, on day one, which features like uh, transfer, deposit, and digital signature, and it gives the ability to create what they call next-gen contracts, making it less tech-savvy than smart contracts without the coding. The next step as well, and you know, these are the partnerships as well, which are um, already included, but the next step, which is important, and which will be in Q4, so it will be in this quarter, is the crypto pool. Focuses on the ability for users to create their own pools for crypto price predictions and share in the winnings, with creators being rewarded for their contributions. Without any coding, you're able to create a pool and try to predict a certain coin price at some, at some point, like what would be the um, Ethereum price by December 31st, and put your money where your mouth is at. So that's pretty, pretty exciting as well from a, from a diversification point of view about creating that. And I'll, I'll show you, you know, a little bit more of some articles that have been written about it. Then as we look to Q1 of 2022, you got eSports DAP, which creates an ecosystem of peer-to-peer -peer market creation of your favorite comp competitions and a number of services relating to the facilitating eSports competition and team management taking social betting and content-driven experience to the next level. You can even use Twitch live streams to create pools. You certainly have the, that friend that never pays for his lost bets, but with this, it will, be, um, it will become possible. So the ecosystem of uh, Transient is going to be massive. And then when you go, another thing coming as well, which is NDA, which creates a home for anything and everything to do with allowing you to work with your partners or clients at ease with the legal advisor providing first-hand experience and expertise to ensure a seamless product is bulletproof within the legal landscape. And now you're able to reach an NDA agreement with anyone, anywhere, anytime on the smart chain. This is what we're talking about, right? There's not gonna be a single industry that's not gonna be impacted by this. Like it is massive what they're looking to do. And the tokenomics of this particular product, the tokenomics, the coin itself is gonna be TSCT, which is the utility token for the transient ecosystem. And you can, I will show you where the white paper is and what that's looking, uh, what that's going to look like. From a partnerships point of view, I've been doing research, so I've been trying to understand, you know, what are some of the major major players which are going to be involved, and I have to say that they're keeping their cards to themselves, right? As an organization, like it's pretty hard to find what's going on now. From my understanding, is that there is an Oracle provider integration for off-chain data. Who that provider will be, or who it is. I'm not sure, so I haven't, in, I haven't been able to dig deeper into that. It's been pretty vague, but there is an Oracle provider for integration for off-chain data. Who that will be, I can't wait to, to dig a little bit deeper and see if I can actually find out who that is. And then from an eSport uh, point of view as well, that they've been keeping their cards uh, close to their chest as well, and rightly so, right? I mean, when you're as an organization, when you're about to launch, you, you keep you keep this stuff very, 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 very private. But my understanding there again is that there are already integrations and partnerships already being built with potential teams and tournament providers in that space as well. So that in, in, uh, in itself makes me very, very excited to keep digging. I love that. Now, it would not be, A, 
crypto, serpent, video. If I didn't tell you that you gotta go and read all of this, there is no if, no buts. You need to read the entire white paper, especially for, a, uh, for an organization like this, especially for something as complex as the mission that they are trying to do. And I love these type of white papers because they are like, I think this is great because I don't think people actually read an entire white paper start to finish when it's just in a, in a normal doc PDF. But when it's it like this, I think it makes it really, really clever for people to just read sections at a time. And I, please read the white paper. It's super, super, super important. Now, the next step as well is to make sure that you follow and alarm bell the social handles. I'm actually doing it with you right now. So you can see that I am here doing it with you. I think from a social point of view, it's really, really important to keep an eye out on what they're saying, because I think this is going to be something that is going to have a lot of moving components. It's going to be a lot of things that are happening, and especially because it hasn't launched yet, right? So there's going to be a lot of stuff happening, and I, I personally want to be right at the at, right at the very edge of knowing when when things launch, when pan, when you know pancake swap or wherever it's launching. Like I, I want to I want to be there like as soon as it happens, as soon as I know the dates, so I can get so I can get ready as well. So very very important to to be on the socials. Now, from um, articles point of view, there's already a lot of articles being written about this company. So the Amazon of smart contracts is what they're calling it. And I think that's pretty cool to call it that. And I think it's pretty right. I mean, after the research that I've done on it, like, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's a good title for them. And I think it's, it will serve them well um, from a marketing perspective because it is really what they are trying to achieve. Now, Again, from a media point of view, you know, Transient aiming to be the Amazon of smart contracts, like this stuff is newsworthy and it's gaining traction. Now we know what happens in the crypto space from a media point of view and from a community point of view, when things start to gain traction, the prices go up of the particular coin because obviously people are betting that this company will deliver on the promises. But this is pretty big stuff. And if you research the, the CEO as well of the organization, like I think the team that they've put together, um, I'm, I like a lot what I'm seeing and that's why I thought I'd bring it to you guys. Now, again, from a media perspective, you know, transient launches, TSC, core mainnets to bring the power of smart contracts to everybody. So there's real use cases that you can read about as well online. There's a lot of stuff already being mentioned about a company that hasn't even launched. So I find that really, really um, exciting. You know, the coin hasn't even launched yet and already there's a lot of media publicity around it. And then Crypto Pool, the new way to price predict. And that's what I was talking about earlier about one of the main features that, that are gonna be a part of the transient ecosystem, right? Read up about this, right? Because this is some good stuff. You know, Crypto Pool, the new way to price predict. Um, I think that's gonna be quite exciting. And I, I don't know about you, but I think I'll, I'll be I'll be joining in on, on, on the fun because I think you know uh, it's dynamic and I think that there's a lot of stuff that is going to be happening on the blockchain um, price predictions and esports industry combined together and both both are growing industries and if this organization is going to be right in the thick of it that's pretty pretty exciting but for now what's your homework go on the website read everything go on the white paper read everything follow all the social accounts stay up to date. I will keep you up to date as well. I don't know about you, but I am super excited about this one. If you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you, and I look forward to see you on the next one.